The sights and sounds of high school football are new to Andover. This fall marks the inaugural season for the Andover football Huskies. They work around the clock to get ready for kickoff. I think a lot of people think of a, a new program and, and it's just, you know, you walk right in and everything's brand new and ready to go and it's not like that at all. Youth is at a premium for this young team, not a senior on the roster. We're starting to get some leadership. It's all by example, but we're starting to get it. That's awesome. It's going to be crazy. The difference between freshman football and now varsity football, it's huge. It, it just gets you psyched. The athletes waste no time getting affiliated with each other. The underclassmen are preparing for this season and years to come. We'll be able to grow on each other, you know, as seniors, maybe juniors, and this year, whatever, you know, who knows what we can do once we get used to each other. Final preparations here at Andover High School and their first game in school history will be a home game, and that's great because the community has been outstanding in support, showing up in huge numbers just for scrimmages. It'll be an eye-opening experience. We're going to have a big crowd. The community is really excited, and, uh, you know, I think it's going to be great. A lot of my friends, a lot of people I talk to, they all, they're all ready to see us go out there. We're glad we have our own identity now. The team plays an independent schedule this year. Opponents scattered the state, making scouting almost impossible. But this team's only focus is on a steady progression. we got a long way to go, but um, really initially the kids have really done a nice job of, of uh, you know, responding to, to everything that we've done. So we've been really happy, um, but we got a lot of growing to do too. The team represents a school that has never seen a student enter its front door. An equal amount of lessons will be learned inside the classrooms as well as on the field. Pat Sidoti, Carol Evans Sports. They played their first ever game tonight, hosting Duluth East, Andover without any seniors on the roster. First quarter action now, Alex Moses. We just saw him in that interview looking for Joe Geyer. The pass incomplete, but wait, there's a pass interference call. The Huskies get the ball first and goal. After three incomplete passes, Aaron Olson gets a crack at the end zone here on fourth down and he stacked up with the two. But Andover would score a touchdown a little bit later. Duluth East would then drive 98 yards. Thor Kurtz takes it in, and the Greyhounds win easily tonight, 52-6 over Andover.